Which is the best gig economy stock to buy? Fiverr International stock or Upwork stock? I'm going to answer that question in this video, so let's get right into it. Starting with the price change in 2022, Upwork was down 69% while Fiverr International was down 74% as part of the broader decline in growth stocks overall. Let's compare the two on revenue growth and we don't have much data on these two companies. They're relatively new to the public markets, but uh, even so looking here, there seems to be a reversal. Uh, Upwork's revenue growth has been relatively stable at between, let's say 20 and uh, 30% going above a little bit. Uh, Fiverr International, meanwhile, had a, had a significant boost over 90% uh, during 2021, and that's decelerating rapidly, coming down to just 11% in its most recent quarter. So higher highs and lower lows for Fiverr International, more consistency from Upwork in terms of revenue growth. Now let's look at the operating profit margin for the trailing 12 months for these two gig economy stocks. And what you see is consistent losses. Uh, each of these companies is losing money on the bottom line, never really achieved consistent profitability. And in fact, the trend is not looking good. It's just going downward, which I don't like to see. When I see a growth stock increasing revenue, I want to see some kind of improvement in its profit margins, which I'm not seeing here for any of these. Uh, Upwork down from less than 8% uh, oper a negative operating margin to uh, negative 15.8% operating margin. Uh, meanwhile, Fiverr negative 17.5% operating margin. But at least with Fiverr, you can see it was much worse. And as revenue has grown, it's kind of decreased the percentage of loss in terms of its margin. So I would say advantage to uh, Fiverr International here, although uh, I wouldn't commend each of them for excellent performance in this regard. Next, I wanted to look at cash flow from operations, and I want to see if there's at least a positive trend here, even though we don't see very many positive trends in terms of profitability, because many times tech companies are able to pay their employees with stock-based compensation, which is a non-cash expense, but they need to account for it on the income statement, which makes the company uh, report losses on the bottom line, but they're not spending cash to pay these employees so they can also report positive cash flow. That's what's going on with these two companies. In fact, uh, cash flow from operations was positive 5.7 million for Fiverr International. And we do see an upward trend uh, from uh, close to zero before July of 2020 to 5.7 million, down from its peak over 15 million, but still an upward trend here. And the same with Upwork, we see an upward trend in terms of cash flow from operations. 10 million in its most recent quarter, uh, growing from less than zero in uh, before July of 2020. So I also want to look at total assets for these two companies. I want to see if they're growing their assets significantly and uh, the cash and equivalents as a percentage of total assets. And looking at Upwork, it's grown its assets from about 300 million to about 1.1 billion over the last four or five years. Uh, Fiverr International has grown from about uh, 100 million up to about 900 million, so much more uh, exponentially faster uh, asset growth for Fiverr International. Mm -hmm. And then if we look at cash as a percentage of uh, total assets, you see Upwork has 187 million in cash and equivalents of the 1.1 billion. Uh, meanwhile, Fiverr only has 71 million in cash uh, compared to its total assets of 931 million. The reason I look at this for these two companies is because this business model, the asset light business model, the platform business model is one of my favorite business models to invest in. Uh, I like companies like, you know, Fiverr and Upwork where they're kind of a marketplace that bring together buyers and sellers of these services and they take a percentage commission for that uh 
for offering that service. Kind of reminds me of how eBay is, you know, just brings together buyers and sellers, takes a percentage for bringing them together. And you might, you know, eBay may not be a high flying growth stock, but eBay delivers very good profitability. And I, I see these smaller companies can uh, at some point achieve really good profitability when they reach a high enough scale if they can follow that path that eBay has followed and achieve the kind of profit margins that eBay has achieved. And so I like to see assets remain light. I like to see conservative investments in assets. And I like to, for these kind of companies to maintain this kind of asset light business model. Finally, let's look at the valuation for these two. I chose to use the forward price to sales ratio to compare the two on valuation. Fiverr trading at a price to sales of 3.678, uh, Upwork trading at a price to sales uh, ratio of 2.319. So in this regard, Fiverr International is more expensive than Upwork, almost more than 50% more expensive than Upwork. And I didn't see anything in the metrics for Fiverr International that justified this kind of premium valuation. And so for this, uh, for this reason, I'm going to say Upwork is the better gig economy stock to buy here. Each of them growing pretty pretty nicely on the top line upwork more consistently um, each of them not profitable on the bottom line but each of them getting better in terms of cash flow from operations and so uh, they're really close they're really similar but if you had to pick one of them I would go with upwork all right that's all I've got for this video thank you for watching and I'll see you next time I want to thank The Motley Fool for sponsoring this video. Visit fool.com slash parkev for the 10 best stocks to buy now.